Just this week, the Hill Times reported that last year, members of Parliament spent $6.3 million on renovations and furniture for their offices. $6.3 million. Now, I think Canadians are right to be concerned about this, but I think we need to look past members of Parliament specifically at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Now, this is not the part of Veterans Affairs that actually deals with direct frontline care and support for veterans. These are the bureaucrats that run the department, like any other federal ministry. You see, in a span of time from November 2015 to March of 2016, about four and a half months, the Department of Veterans Affairs spent $291,000 on office chairs. $291,000 just on office chairs alone. Now, I obtained this information through documents that I got under the Access to Information Act. And I want to look at some of these specific chairs because this is an example of bloated government waste, if ever there was one. Some of the chairs, by the way, were retailing for upwards of $1,000. I found one chair, an ergonomic posture stool, going for more than $1,300. One chair, a steel case leap chair, a designer chair, going for $944 a pop, and the government ordered dozens of those. The government also picked up an $1,100 chair here and there, a $900 chair here and there. Oh, and poor Genevieve, one government employee who only got access to a $746 chair. I guess she wasn't as special as the ones that got the $1,300 chair. So what do we take from this information? Well, I poured through dozens and dozens of pages of documents, and these furniture expenses kept literally jumping off the page at me in my eyes. I was like, this does not make sense. So I wanted to know what actually led to the Department of Veterans Affairs needing so many of these. Was it just as simple as they had new employees? I reached out to a government spokesperson to ask about that very question. How many new employees were hired in the span of time that these chairs were purchased? The answer, 187. 187 employees were hired in that time frame, net new employees. Now that would work out to be over $1,500 per chair if every single one of them needed a new chair. Now the spokesperson also said that the government is looking at increasing as part of budget 2016 the number of employees to about 400 new hires. But that still doesn't answer the question of why they're spending more than $1,000 a chair. And that's by the way just for chairs. I found another set of expenditures from November and December specifically, uh, which were contracts to Adirondack Technologies. And that company was given $263,000 on office furnishing. Now it appears this included even more chairs. Now Adirondack Technologies I looked into, and it's a company that deals in some ways almost exclusively on governments, furnishing government offices. It's almost as though they know governments don't really care about keeping costs below a certain level. So why these chairs? We're dealing with Veterans Affairs, a department that has been heavily plagued by criticisms of not doing enough to support veterans, and now they're spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars keeping bureaucrats' rear ends cushy. That's money that could be going towards actual care and support for the veterans they aim to re represent, men and women in uniform that have fought for our country. But no, hundreds of thousands of dollars of chairs is somehow more important. Now, the statement from Veterans Affairs says that there are 2,900 employees working for the department in 30 offices across the country. And they say that they needed to, quote, address different needs, including for new employees to upgrade employees' existing chairs due to maintenance, as well as to purchase stackable chairs to increase seating capacity in common areas, waiting areas, and boardrooms. The statement even goes on to talk about the Canadian Human Rights Act and the duty to accommodate. That's why all the chairs are ergonomic. Well, I looked up a Canadian supplier of ergonomic chairs and found some options that were under $400. So what's so special about these ones? Or more importantly, what's so special about those bureaucrats rear ends I was talking about? There is a right way and a wrong way to do business. Spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on furniture in just four and a half months makes me wonder if maybe the priorities need a little bit of a shake there. For the Rebel.media, I'm Andrew Lawton. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.